There are many factors that investors look at whether to buy or sell stocks. One item investors look at are the business financial statements. These financial statements include income statement, balance sheet, and cash flow. Investors can use the numbers from the financial statements to make their own investment decisions. We are Parsub, and today we're going to show you how you can scrape financial statements on Yahoo and export them into a spreadsheet in just a few minutes. To get started, you'll need a powerful web scraping tool. We think you'll enjoy Parsub. Not only is it free to use, but it has a suite of features that we think you'll enjoy. The download link is in the description. For this example, we're going to scrape Apple's financial statements. So let's get started. First, we'll show you how you can scrape the financial statements separately. Since each financial statement has a different URL, you'll need to have three separate scraping projects. We'll show you how to scrape the income statement, but you can use these steps and adjust them for a balance sheet and cash flow. Once Parsub is downloaded and installed, click on the new project button and submit the URL into the text box. The website will now render inside the app. You'll now be able to select the first element you'd like to extract. Select the first row under the breakdown column, which is total revenue. It'll be highlighted in green to indicate that it's being extracted. On the left sidebar, rename your selection to breakdown. Parsub is now pulling the text. Now, we'll select the rest of the breakdown labels in the list which are highlighted in yellow. Click on the second label, cost of revenue, on the list to select them all. They'll all now be highlighted in green. We'll now ask Parsub to also pull the numbers that are related to each breakdown. To do this, click on the plus sign next to your breakdown selection and choose the relative select command. Using the relative select command, click on the first breakdown label that is highlighted in orange and then on the dollar amount that is in the column beside it. An arrow will appear to show the association you're creating. You might have to repeat this process to fully train the scraper. On the left sidebar, rename your selection to the date, in this case, TTM. Repeat the previous two steps to pull more data from the past years in the financial statements. Be sure to rename them accordingly. Note, when renaming your selections, you can't start with a number. You can rename your selection to September 30th, 2020. Once you have everything you want to extract, click on the green get data button to begin your project. You can use these steps to scrape the other financial statements. Now that you know how to scrape each financial statement separately, let's show you how you can scrape all three statements in one project. For you to scrape all three financial statements, you'll need to tell Parsup to click on each financial statement then scrape the necessary information. For this example, we're going to start with the income sheet URL, then click on the balance sheet and cash flow. The next steps are completed after you're done extracting the breakdown labels and dollar amounts for the income statement. On the left sidebar, Rename your template to Income Statement. This will help us keep our templates organized. Click on the plus sign next to your page selection and choose the Select command. Select the Cash Flow link. Rename the selection to Cash Flow. Expand the new selection using the icon next to it and delete both extract commands under your Cash Flow selection. Click on the plus sign next to your cash flow selection and choose the click command. A pop-up will appear asking you if this is the next page link. Click on no and enter a name for this template. We'll call it cash flow. You'll now be taken to the cash flow page. A new select command will automatically be created. Select the data you want to extract. Once you're done scraping everything on the cash flow statement, click on the plus sign next to your page selection and choose the select command. Select the balance sheet link, rename the selection to balance sheet. Expand your new selection using the icon next to it and delete both extract commands under your balance sheet selection. Click on the plus sign next to your balance sheet selection and choose the click command. A pop-up will appear asking you if this is the next page link. Click on no and enter your name for this template. We'll call it balance sheet. You'll now be taken to the balance sheet page. A new select command will automatically be created. Select the data you want to extract. 
Now it's time for the fun part, running your web scraping project. Simply click on the green get data button. On this screen, you'll be able to test, run, or schedule your project. For bigger projects, we recommend testing it to make sure it's scraping data properly. In this case, we'll just run it right away. Once your run is completed, you'll be able to download it as an Excel or JSON file. You can use this guide to help you to extract financial statements for any businesses on the stock market. You can use these spreadsheets to help you make calculations and make valuable investment decisions. We understand that projects can get quite complex. If you need any help with any of your projects, you can contact our customer support team using our live chat. Thanks for watching this video. Check us out at parsop.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos on web scraping, data, and the internet. Happy scraping.